With CSGO cases at such a high price right now, I think it leaves a lot of people confused. Should we wait to buy? Should we buy now and just hold on for dear life through potential dips? What's the move when it comes to case investing and really the overall market? Well, today I want to talk about when I think the lowest point of the market will come in 2022 and what to do with that information. So as always, if you're new and then the two thirds of people that aren't subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you enjoy and check out how to get a free $5 from trading skins with the sponsor Skins Monkey in this quick pre-roll. Hi you, yes you, would you like to get $5 for free for your first trade? Just use skinsmonkey.com and get your extra skins. See the description below to enjoy the special promotion and receive 5% cashback for trading your CSGO skins. So first off, I want to cover what's going on with cases right now. We've seen a really strong uptrend across the entire market for quite a while at this point. And the overall trend just seems to be a big uptrend across a few days and then consolidation, aka just going sideways and staying at that stronger price for a while, then breaking upwards again, consolidating, and then we find where we're at today. Note that when we see consolidation in CSGO recently, it really seems to only break upwards and not downwards because of how strong the market is, how many people are buying cases and how limited cases are getting because there is millions upon millions of them being unboxed a month, investors buying as well, and people really just wanting to make money in this game, whether it's investing or opening cases where the knives are getting more expensive too. And it's led us into a really strong economy, but there is some issues. Note that when I said we have consolidation, it usually breaks upwards. The one recent event that proves me wrong in that department is what we have to worry about now, and that's an operation. Riptide on September 21st of course caused a major dip in the market after consolidation from summer hype, dragged the entire market down for a bit until we got to around late November and for whatever reason, the market started to pick up back then. But operations are scary for investors, especially if you want to make a quick buck, because they can kill off like months of gains in less than a day. So when is the operation going to come this year, if at all? And is it even worth waiting for? Well, let's base it on the last three operations. Shattered Web ended on March 31st, 2020 and Broken Fang, the next operation released on December 3rd, 2020, which is just over an eight month gap without an operation. Broken Fang ended on May 3rd, 2021 and Riptide was released on September 21st, 2021. So only a bit less than a five month gap between those two. And since Riptide ended on February 21st, 2022, it's possible that we see the operation as early as July with that five month gap in mind. But I think possibly after all the major stickers and everything are removed in game, that'll be the very earliest we could even talk about having an operation. But even then, that's assuming Valve are getting stuff done quick, which is never something you should bet on. So I think the very earliest is going to be July, but I highly doubt it. I'm leaning more towards that eight month gap without an operation. So like October, -ish. but either way, they'll probably start hinting at it on Twitter a few weeks before it's done. So we'll probably know when it's coming and it won't just drop out of nowhere. Your skins and everything won't just crash 25% because Valve decides to release an operation on some random afternoon. And with that being said, a crash is most likely to come with an operation. You have to expect it based on last time around. You can't just ignore it. And just to further prove my point, I actually want to go over the reason for the major crash I think we see that comes with operations nowadays. I honestly think at this point, it's partially because the operation stars and everybody wanting to spend their money on that. But also for people with less money, just like $15 in investments, selling all those cases to buy the pass since you've been able to get 50 cases from the operation shop if you finish all the missions judged on how well cases are doing nowadays it is just so profitable and you can easily get over like 50 bucks from it like look at the price of the riptide case right now so why wouldn't you it's literally free money and people are gonna sell their investments to get that free money and people love these operation cases as well so now you gotta ask yourself do i want to wait for the operation to crash when we don't necessarily know when it's gonna drop it could be a few months out it could be half a year out valve is not consistent at all but at the same time right now you'd be buying into all-time high prices in a lot of cases so unfamiliar territory to say the least not really a price that people have proven they want to consistently buy at before but the thing is with the way cases have still been unboxed in obscene amounts during this time 25.1 million cases unboxed in march to be exact 
numbers we've only seen in last May where we also saw crazy market hype with the cases especially. People don't really seem to care about the price of cases and that they keep getting higher. I mean, 25.1 million cases are being unboxed when many are at all-time highs. So long term, even if we see a dip now or things pull back in the next few months, which I think is really expected, long term, I think they'll easily bounce back and get over this point in price. So if you want to buy now, just expect to hold for a long time. That's the safest way to make money in this market. If you just believe in it, just hold, hold, hold. But the actual best time to buy and most likely the cheapest time to buy in 2022 will probably be when the operation comes. It led to about a two month downtrend in cases and a really significant decrease in price. The glove case, for example, went from $1.70 on September 20th to $1.20 on November 12th, so a pretty significant decrease. But now the same case is like three bucks, which just shows how fast this market recovers. The breakout case went from $2.60 to about a buck eighty-three right after the dip as well. So yeah, pretty rough dip, but it had a crazy bounce back in December. So once again, the case market is insane. Tons of strength. Long term is the name of the game with so many cases getting really limited in supply, less and less on the market as months come. So expect a massive dip when the operation comes, but I think we should still expect long term strength in the case market. So it's not like something you have to worry about a ton, but if you're waiting for a quote unquote perfect time to buy, which there really never will be, it will probably be when the operation comes and things dip in price. Well, who knows how much gains we'll have before that point. I personally think the case market is going to slow down, but then we've got the summer coming. There could be summer hype. So that's why I always say long term. You really don't know what's coming next in the CSGO market. So besides all that, I think that is going to wrap it up for this video. As always, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And be sure to watch the last video on what I believe are the most profitable cases to buy in 2022. And of course, be sure to check out Skins Monkey with that link in the description for that free $5 bonus. But for now... I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.